Alright guys, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel, and today we are going to go over how to mine Raptorium on the Raspberry Pi. Now you might not think that's possible, but it is. We are not going to make a whole bunch of money, but it is actually possible to mine Raptorium on a Raspberry Pi. Now, I did not do this on my own. Um, a big shout out to uh, Timmy G here. He's got his own YouTube account. Um, he helped me figure out how to mine this Raptorium. Uh, he's actually the one that helped me figure out the JSON file for this that I'm going to show you today. So if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe on his videos as well, I'd appreciate that. And I know he would as well. But without further ado, let's get into how to mine Raptorium on the Raspberry Pi. Huh? So, first thing that we're going to need to do is choose our operating system. And today to use... Uh, to actually to mine we're going to need a 64-bit image so I have the most current version of Raspberry Pi iOS bullseye edition and it is the arm 64-bit so we're gonna hit open on that I already downloaded it I will leave a link below on where to download this from the Raspberry Pi website then we're gonna choose my flashing device right there and then there's one more thing that one of the viewers actually showed me right now I'm gonna hold down I'm gonna hold down control shift and X and that's going to pop up this extra window right here. So I can actually turn on SSH right here. Um, so I want to set a password. Let me set that real quick. Perfect. And I can configure my Wi-Fi setup. I can configure my locale settings as far as where I am. Let's do that. We'll do the skip first run wizard. And we can do all that stuff. So that is perfect. Now that's all set up. And I'm going to hit save. And now when I write this, it'll actually enable SSH and write that password for me. So I'm going to hit yes. It's going to open the drive and start writing it. And this is only going to take a minute, but we'll be back as soon as I get this Raspberry Pi to actually boot. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we just finished our first boot, and the image that I am linking down below actually has a graphic user interface, as you can see here. So I'm going to actually use, you could SSH into this and do everything that I'm going to do today, but I am actually going to use the terminal itself here. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to get um, the updates and upgrades. So we're going to do a sudo apt update. We're going to grab all the updates, right, and then we're going to do a sudo apt upgrade. And this is going to take a minute, so I will come back as soon as this is done. I'm going to hit Y here for yes, and it's going to start downloading all these packages. So as soon as it's finished upgrading, we will come back. Alright, so we just finished the sudo apt upgrade. Now check this out so I actually pulled up my video in the background here and what we've done so far is the sudo apt update and the sudo apt upgrade so now I'm actually just gonna copy this right here sudo apt install git build and we're gonna come back over here to the command prompt I'm gonna right click paste and hit enter and it's gonna start downloading this now um, so you, you can literally just go through and copy and paste all of the commands that I'm going to leave down below and it will go through all of this for you. So this is only, actually it looks like it's going to finish here. So we will move on to the next command now. So this is going to download the actual XM rig. And so one thing I do want to show you is if I click on this, it'll take me to the new page and check this out. We've got version 6.16.2. This is the new version that is capable of running the Kryptonite algorithm, uh, I'm not, I'm sorry, not Kryptonite, Ghostwriter algorithm to mine, um, Raptorium. So right here, Ghostwriter release notes. So this is how we're going to do it. Now if I come back over here again, I've got my thing copied. We're going to come back to the command prompt. We're going to paste that in there now, and this is going to download, um, XM rig. So we're going to hit enter there. It's cloning everything at that repository address. So it's basically just copying all the files from there. Um, this is going to take a second. We're at 1.1 megabytes a second. 
And that is done. Now we're going to CD XM rig. And what this is going to do is enter the directory XM rig. So here we go. Okay, we are now in CD XM rig. We have to build the next directory. This is make the directory build. Okay, so we're going to paste that command in there. And now we've made build. And now we're going to enter the build directory. Okay. Now we're in build, and we're going to do CMake. And what this is going to do is this is going to basically unpack XMRig and get everything ready. And this part will take a while. So, this next part is going to detect a bunch of stuff. That, oh, I'm sorry, that part doesn't take very long. This part is going to take a while. Um, I do want to show you, as it flashes across the screen here, it's going to start downloading things, and it's already downloading Argon 2, which is like Chukwa. Um, it's going to download a whole bunch of different um, possible hashes, and here's Ghostwriter right here. You see that? So that is the algorithm that it's going to use to mine Raptorium. It's already downloading it, but it's also downloading all these other ones. So along with this you can choose all these different algorithms that you can mine with this Raspberry Pi. So right now I'm going to show you how to mine Raptorium, but again, this Raspberry Pi with XMRig on it can mine a lot of different cryptocurrencies, especially if you start pointing it on, on, at unminable, like my previous video. But today, again, Raptorium. So it's at 9% right now. We will come back when this is done uh, downloading and unpacking XMRig. Alright, so we are back and we finished building the XMRig file and everything is all set up now. So technically the last step in here is to paste in this right here and it's to get it mining. I could paste this in there right now. We can start mining some Monero to unminable and collecting Tron like I showed before. But let me show you the difference between what this is and how to mine uh, Raptorium. So this is what I had before and this is what I have now. So this is .xmrig which means start the xmrig um, executable file basically. And then this dash a is dash algorithm ghost writer right here. gr is ghost writer. Now dash o is going to be what pool we're going to be reporting to and because it is Raptorium we're going to be using flock pool for this. Now I have the lowest ping to flock pool which is why I want to use that. And then the port at flock pool that we're going to be use. I'm not using the SSL or the secure port. I am using the non-secured port. And then I am also using my Raptorium address right here. And then dash P is password. And I'm putting an X there instead of putting a name of a pi or something else. So if I copy this line right here. Yeah, there we go. Copy that and we drop this into the command prompt now. All right, bam, we are now mining Raptorium on a Raspberry Pi. So um, there is another way to start this, and I want to show that real quick. So the other way to do this is to set up a JSON file. Um, in order to do that, you actually need to get in here to the directory, right? And you need to get it into XMRig and get into build, and there needs to be a config file in here. So you could connect up a USB drive to this thing, like I've done here, and I have a config.json file. So I could actually just copy this guy and then get back over to my Pi, right? Get into XMRig, build, and I can paste it in here. That is one way. I have a config.json file. Now, if you are remoted into your Raspberry Pi, however, and you don't have a screen on here, that's not really going to work. So first of all, let me delete this. Um, cut. Or move to wastebasket. Yes, there we go. So it is gone now. And I'm going to close this out. And we're going to go back over to my other computer. And we're actually going to remote into this Raspberry Pi and set up the JSON file. So, the JSON file, I will have it down below, 
but it basically let me show you that as well too real quick um, can I open it in here yes I can so it's basically just gonna show the host here and if you start scrolling down it shows the different algorithms and its testings and right here so we have the ghostwriter algorithm set up we have flock pool as the pool and it's actually set up as port 5555 I want to set it as port 444 there we go okay and then we've got my raptorium address here and then dot rtm underscore pi and that's going to give me my pi name reporting to the pool so that's how the json file is set up and all it's going to do is just tell the miner what to do if we just start it so let me show you real quick how to remote into the raspberry pi and get that in there and in order to do that let's switch back over to my main computer real quick so here we are we're back at my main computer and I've already figured out my Raspberry Pi's um, IP address so we're good there it's 193 or I'm sorry 192.168.0.193 okay and we're gonna enter that The username is going to be pi, and the password is whatever password I had set before. So there we go. We are actually remoted into that rig now, right? So now this is showing, this first of all, this program is called WinSCP. So I will leave a link to this down below. It is just like putty, but you're puttying in basically. You're remoting in, and you can see the files on my Raspberry Pi, see home.py right here, and then the files on my uh, anonymous miner gaming desktop. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find my config file. It's right here, right? And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put it in there. So again, we need to find XM rig, which I just clicked on, and then we're going to find build. And there is no config file member because I erased it. So now, I am going to just drag and drop this right over there. Okay. So now I have a JSON file in here. And we can actually close this out. So I no longer need this because I already transferred my file. So. Yes, we will save that. And we're out. So now, if we go back over to my Raspberry Pi real quick. right I can actually open the terminal we can go CD and CD into XM rig I'm gonna put a slash for build because we need to get into the build directory as well okay so now we're into XM rig build and I'm gonna do dot slash XM rig and bam that's all I have to type now to get that running so thank you again to Timmy G for giving me that JSON file. I just put my address in there. I changed the port on it real quick and the, the name of the Raspberry Pi. And that was it. And we're off to the races. And it actually, I didn't even change the port on this one. As you can see right here, it's still on 5555, but it is working. So that's really cool. We are now mining Raspberry, or I'm sorry, we're mining Raptorium on a Raspberry Pi. However, there's one more thing. I just hit control C to stop this miner. We're going to go CD to get back to the main directory. And there's one more thing I want to show you because this Raspberry Pi will actually go to sleep after a little bit because the screen goes to sleep. So what we want to do is we're going to go sudo apt get install screen. And what screen is, is a program that will let you run this in a headless environment, meaning it'll keep running even if the screen goes to sleep or there isn't a screen connected to it. So I was having some issues where I was testing the Raspberry Pi over periods of time um, to see how much it was going to produce. And it wasn't doing very well because, well, it was going to sleep. So now if I do a screen, sudo dot xm rig. Actually, I need to open screen. 
Okay, so now it gives me the information about screen and what it is. And now I'm actually in screen. And I'm going to hit control. And I'm going to hit control A, C. So control plus A plus C, right? And now I have two different screens. So if I type something here and I hit control A again, it'll actually take me to my other screen, see? So if I hit control A plus A, it takes me to my two different screens. Now we're going to go CD, XM rig, build, right? And then we're going to go dot, XM rig. There we go. And we are mining. And I'm going to hit control A and A again. And we're back to our other screen. So now I have multiple screens and one of them is mining. So now I'm going to let this run for a little bit and I'm going to show you the reporting to the pool. But we have set up our JSON file. I've also shown you how to do it with basically the bat line command prompt style. And now I just need to show you the results on the pool. So I'll be back in just a minute when this is reporting. All right. So we've been mining for a little while. And you can see here I've got a hash rate reported on the miner now. And let's come back to the main computer. And so here it is. It is actually showing on and off because of the hash rate is so low. But I do have 33 accepted shares from that Raspberry Pi. And two stale, one rejected. And it's reporting um, a little while ago. Now, I do have all these other mining CPUs, so um, this is really just an experiment for me. It is really cool, though, to be able to mine all these different currencies with a Raspberry Pi. So, is it going to make you rich? No, it's really not going to make you rich. But, is it something fun to do and a proof of concept and something that you can learn a lot while you're doing? Yes, it is, because I learned the thing about the screen today. I learned the thing about the control, shift, and X on how to reflash your Raspberry Pi and set up a password and SSH right out of the box. And I also learned this new program, um, what is this, WinSCP, where you can remotely access computers and put your own files and stuff on there. So thanks again to Timmy G and the other comments and subscribers that have taught me all this stuff. I really appreciate you guys. If you could like, comment, and subscribe again on this video, I would really appreciate you. And I will see you again on the next one.